welcome back so previously we have seen how we can make get request post put and delete also we have seen how we can validate response so we have seen different type of validations or you can call it assertions now I'm going to cover a very important topic name is collections so before moving to this let me just move to postman so here we have seen we made a lot of requests like previously we are adding a student then we are fetching data we are updating student we are fetching data again we are deleting so we have a lot of requests over here but the point is as of now we have created these requests we did not save them so if you are not saving them later on might be tomorrow or any other time I want to perform all these actions again and again you want to go for regression testing how will you perform that because as of now we did not save it we use it it is there but if I close this postman these requests will be removed so how we can save it so that we can use it again later on because we already added lot of assertions and I want to use the same request whenever I want to go for the regression so for saving all these requests we can use collections so first of all we need to understand what is collection so collection can be defined as a container to save request means what all the requests we are making what all the changes what all the assertions we have applied you can save it inside collection so collection can be considered as a container it is going to be used for grouping multiple requests together for later execution so as of now you have seen if I talk about I want to validate update student API so you can simply understand first of all I'll have to add a st add student then we'll have to go for the update student and then we have to go for verification so three steps or three requests will, will be involved so we are going to save these three requests in the order so that later on anybody in the team can execute them in the same order so where we can save it so we can save them in the collection so we can group multiple requests together for later execution and that will be saved inside the collection you can consider this collection as a folder or subfolder I'm going to show you what do you mean by the subfolder but you can take it as a folder where you are going to save your request and once you create this collection and add lot of requests over here so let's take an example you have a hundred different requests to test you added all these requests into the collection so later on when you want to execute you need not to execute individual request you can execute complete collection together so how we will do that I'll show you but that is one of the biggest advantage we can execute complete collection just by a single click so I'll show you how also we can share this collection okay let's take an example we are working in a team I made lot of requests uh, added assertions over there I want to share this collection with my team member you need not to share individual request you can simply share the collection your team members will get complete collection and they can use it they can use it modify it update it ultimately we can share collection with team members another is publish collection so we can publish it for this document will be created all the details will be published I'll show you how we can do it let's understand collection is kind of a folder and as we know inside the folder we can create multiple subfolders so in the same way here we are going to create a collection and inside that we are going to have we can create multiple folders or you can call it subfolders so you can consider this collection as a test suite and inside that you can create multiple folders and each folder can be considered as a test case here we are going to implement this architecture where we will create one collection which will be considered as a test suite or you can call it test suite inside the test suite we are going to create multiple test cases and these test cases will be in the form of folder okay let me just go to the postman I'll show you practical approach of this okay here I'm on the postman and if you check it on the left hand side we have a option of collection so as I go here you can simply click on a plus to create new collection 
So as I click on this, I'm giving SMS API testing. That is your collection name. As of now, one collection is created. I just enter. You will notice one collection is created and reflected over here. Now, if you want, you can directly save your request into this collection, but that's not a good approach. Even let me show you. Okay. I want to save this post request directly into collection means I don't want to create other folders. You can simply go here in, you can simply go to a particular tab, save, save as where you want to save. I want to save in this collection. So you can simply select this collection, give the name. Okay. Add new student. If you notice, I have added one request directly inside the collection. But that is not a good approach because if we save all these requests inside the collection, we cannot distribute in the form of test cases. So I'll just simply remove it. But as you remove it from there, it is not showing here anymore. So how we can bring it back? Okay. Simply go here in the history. You will get what all the requests you made. So previously we made these post requests. You can simply open your post request. So I'm just opening that. And if you notice that is open and that's a body of the request. So that is a request that will that will display in the history. So I just bring it back from the history. Okay. I'm going to the collection again. So now we have a collection and before saving my request inside the collection, I want to create folder structure inside this collection. You can create any number of folders and these each folder you can consider as a test case. So going to the collection and here we have three dots. As I click on this, you will get an option of add folder. So I'm adding a folder. Okay. That's my test case one. So I'm just giving the name TC001. Add new student. That is one folder we have created. I have just enter. So one folder reflected over here. In the same way, I go and create one more folder. TC002 add update student. So that is my second test case. Okay. Now I'm going to add one more folder. TC003 add delete student. That is my third test case. Okay. I'm going to create one more folder. TC004 add student add address. So that is my fourth test case in the same way as per your scenarios, you can create any number of folders over here. Even if you want, you can create subfolder inside this folder. So it's up to you what kind of structure you want to maintain. But in practical project, I have seen this kind of structure where we have a collection and inside that collection, we have multiple folders. In fact, you can do something like this. Okay. These are my pos positive test cases. I want to create negative test case as well. So what you can do, I'm just creating a folder with the name negative test cases. And now inside this folder, I'm creating subfolders, add folder, which is a subfolder inside this and TC005 add a student invalid JSON request. It's up to you what kind of structure you want to follow. You can simply create folders inside this collection or you can use your subfolder structure as well. So it's completely depend on your project. So now we have seen what is collection, how to create collection and how to maintain folder structure inside the collection. Here I'm going to show you, we have many options here in the collection. So in the next session, I will show you how we can add these requests to the collection 
also I will show you many options which you are getting over here. In this session we have covered what is collection, how to create collection and how to maintain folder st structure inside the collection. So previously as I told you collection can be considered as a folder which can have subfolder and inside the subfolder we can save request. So it's up to us what kind of structure we want to follow. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.